Okay, shalom, shalom. Kom ya sa Allah. Ko holoyimla, ye hawa bashim ya washai, bahashim, kahakodash. The Ba'anas to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say, the water toward the Akim and Akwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the best of their ability. Jachanah Nawaf is coming at you with another quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. Um, let's go into it. Uh, this is um, in a news break. And it's, uh, you know, an article in Arts and Culture. But it says the fundamental similarities that current American society shares with shares with ancient Rome. And <laughs> let me just grab one scripture real quick before I go into this, because what's happening is the so-called white man is continually telling on himself. And these are part of those end days prophecies, man. That's why it's so important to repent. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the true Hebrew Israelites. That's your biblical nationality. The Lord is revealing to you the man of sin, the man of perdition. He's showing you in the end days <laughs> what will be happening. He, all, the th all these things are coming to pass, man. Now, this is uh, Psalm 64 and 8, right? So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. So they're making their own tongue. They're telling on each other. They're telling on themselves. They're telling you that, hey, we're the, we're the people that were Romans that persecuted you, you, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which are Israelites. The Romans had the Israelites in captivity at that particular time. Pontius Pilate was a Roman that was over the, you know, he was one of the governors over the Jews. If I'm not mistaken, I think that was his title, a governor. You know, um, um, Herod, you know, those were Romans. They were in Rome, you know, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? These are the people that persecuted the Lord, which would be a so-called black man today. The scripture goes off into Revelations 1, you know, um, chapter chapter 1, verses 13 through 15. It, it clearly gives you an indication that he was a dark, melanated man with woolly hair. And also in the scriptures, it even called, you know, the, 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 the disciples Negroes or n niggers. Right. So. Let's go off into it. Let's just get some of it. To show you that these are the same people that's back on earth right now. As a matter of fact, there was a scripture where Yahweh talked about the two that pierced him. The two that pierced him, Salakia. Uh, let's just get some of this real quick. But those two um, Roman soldiers that pierced the Lord in his in his rib cage or his chest or you know his side, you know. He said that those those Romans would be back here to see him when he comes, roughly paraphrasing. And that's going to happen. They, these people are already here. This thing is already going on. This is reincarnation of the same people that were back then. They're, those spirits are back on earth today. Now Let's get the title again. It says fundamental similarities that current American society shares with ancient Rome. Now, let's get some of you going to see. And we've been saying it all along. The apostles have always been saying this. This comes out, man. This is one of the things that, you know, when you come into this truth, you're going to, you know, you have to kind of learn because it's somewhat of milk, but it's a little, you know, it's history. That's why the Apostle Gabar, he'll always say, um, you know, you have to learn the history to know the mystery. You have to realize that it was Romans that that had, you know, uh, uh, the same democracy, your same Republican, Democrat type shit was going on. The same thing. They had the military. That was spread all over the world. These are the same people. And, and when you see pictures of these Romans, Julius Caesars and all these different, those are so-called white men. So now they're starting to tell them each other because the average person, they don't um, average, especially the average Christian. They don't go into the scriptures and put together. Well, let me go and see what Romans look like. Let me go in because see, they, they're trying to hide so much stuff. But since the Hebrew Israelites were out on the highways and byways and bringing out this truth, they're starting to kind of scrub certain things. They're, they're trying to, you know, push information to the side where you can't really get at it like you could have maybe five or so years ago, six, seven years ago. You know what I'm saying? Because they're, they're like, these niggas are reading now. <laughs> these niggas are searching things. We have to get rid of this, this, this. So as we come out with things, they go off into it and they try and scrub it and get rid of it. But let's get some of this. Let's get some of this. That's kind of crazy. They got Martin Luther King quote. 
we are not the makers of history. We are made by the history. Okay. The United States of America may not be the oldest nation in the world. However, it is a country shaped by history. A country younger than four centuries has risen to global leadership in a brief period of evolution. The founding fathers would probably never have achieved the glory we live today live by today if it wasn't for the influence of the ancient values like those of the Roman Republic. And see, they call them values. But the Romans didn't have no values. They were fucking savages. Just like they are today. They were all into all kinds of pagan idolatry. The only, the, the only real ancient values that exist are the ancient values of the Hebrew Israelites, man. The law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, man. Not no damn Romans. These were the same people that was that, that was sitting around in, in, in amphitheaters, what they call um your, your your what they would call today a damn gymnasium, or um, you know an NFL football field with a bunch of so-called white people sitting in the damn audience cheering on Negroes battling each other or battling a damn iron um lion or a damn bear or something. It's the same thing. That even with that, even with their coliseums, they call them gyms now. You know, or they call them um. You know, these different things, you know, you may have some um, some some football fields, you know, in the NFL, they may be outside. But now you have them where they have the domes over them where they can play all weather. You know what I'm saying? From their gymnastics to their tennis. These are all gladi gladi gladiator type games, man. These are the people that was into that and they still into it today. Look at the MMA. Look at the gory, the bloody. They want to see blood, man. <laughs> this is this is this is this is each. Um, um, um. Greco uh, Roman, the Greco Roman Empire all over again, man. Salakia, because they do take on a lot of, and a lot of it come from Egypt too. That's why this this place is called um, spiritual Sodom in Egypt. That's why you have that 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 pyramid on the back of the dollar. Those Romans and Greeks, they took on a lot of wickedness from the Egyptians, man. Okay, it says that the United States Capitol is representative of modern well, Salakia. And that's true. Uh, let's see here what they got. The United States Capitol is a representative of modern Rome architecture. The structure is an association with the ancient Greek philo philosophical enlightenment and empiricism. Upholds empirical evidence central role in forming rather than innate ideas or traditions. Yep. Let's matter of fact, let's put it in. Let's put it in the United States Capitol. Let me see if I can copy and just paste it real quick. Matter of fact, let me just come out of here real quick. Bear with me. We'll get it. Let's put in the United States Capitol. And let's see what it looks like, right? And this goes for your courthouses and everything, man. There you go. You see what I'm saying? The, 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 these are the things. That this is how they they because this is all modern Rome. Look at the pillars. This is your January six hookup right here, right? Look at your pillars. You see what I'm saying? You can go to the White House. Look at the White House built the same way, right? It's got that Roman architectural look, right? What else do they have? Um, Go to the Lincoln Memorial. Same thing. See? Now let's go to uh, Mount Petra, which they said Mount Petra just flooded. The, uh, not long, I think it was a few days ago or so, I'm thinking. Uh, Salakia. Let me just put in Petra. Let's see. And these are the people that come from them goddamn caves. See? 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 This is long ago right here. This is when they, this is they carved this shit out of rocks, man. So this going back to. Let's see. What's going on? Oh, let's see. Um, it says it was possibly as early as the 5th century B.C. So these people have always been on the scene doing the exact same thing. Coming back in re reincarnation, man. Look at this. This it, it, you trying to tell me this don't look like the White House or or you see what I'm saying? 
This is Petra. You see? So, let's go back. So what's happening is, is they're starting to tell on each other. Now that, that right there was your U.S., your United States Capitol, right? It says the structure in association with the ancient Greek philosophical enlightenment why I won't let me copy and paste because I would like to go in there and check that out as well okay well let's let's move on it says um, the founders of American society foresaw the historical significance of the Roman judiciary system so they have the Roman system of, of, of um, Judas Roman system of the um, judiciary um, portion of this place it, it's, it's the same way it says just as reflected in the cap capital architecture the founding fathers grabs the comp competence of the ancient Roman legal process. So they, they still have the Roman legal process going on. That is short of adapting to the harsh punishments that came with that era. No, there is still harsh punishments because it, just not towards the so-called Roman. Because because matter of fact, or the so-called American, which will be the so-called white man today. You see what I'm saying? Now, back then, there was a point where I think it was... um. What was it, Paul? I think they flogged him, and he was like, you know, um, Roman citizen. He used the quote that he was a Roman citizen. They wasn't supposed to do him like that because he was a Roman citizen, right? But other than that, Jake, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, hey, they they they, they didn't they didn't have that part in this particular judi judiciary system. They have it where you, you were brought here in slavery, and you was you know less than three fifths of a man, yeah, pretty much about like how it was back then too. You know what I'm saying? It was just that Paul. Let me, let me see if I can find this account. Um, Salakia, bear with me. Uh, what did he ask him? Can't thou speak Greek? I think it was. Well, let me put in. I'm trying to think how it was worded. Cause that, that's when they had um, beating. I probably should have put in lawful. Slakia, so bear with me here for real. I, you know, I'm just trying to flow in the spirit. Um, yeah, Acts 22 and 25, it says, And as they bound him with thongs, Paul said unto the centurion that stood by, Is it lawful for you to scourge a man that is a Roman and, and uncondemned? See? So, when it comes to the, the, the law system here, you know what I'm saying? It, it's the same old thing. And... and <coughs> To a certain aspect, you know, uh, uh, t this very day, you know, and to a certain aspect, a Negro might be able to say, hey, you know what? Well, hey, you know what I'm saying? These are the laws. I'm, not, I'm an American citizen. You know what I'm saying? Hey, don't you, don't the law say that I have a right to this, 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 this and this. Now, you on book, you do. But when it comes straight down to it, do you get treated like the so-called white man? Hell no, because this is their kingdom. And it was the same way back then. You see what I'm saying? It was the same way back then. Now, you may be able to push it and go a little bit further with it. You know what I'm saying? And take it to the Supreme Court. But, you know, in a lot of cases, that would be a waste of time because they're not going to see you like how they see the actual real rulers of the place. You know, they're, 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 they're you might be a citizen, but you're not seen like how they're seen. You got to you have to really realize that, man. You so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. You run around here, you march, you're doing all these things. Look, this place it's not a playground for us, man. This place is a prison for us. This is a place of punishment for us because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he gave us rules, regulations, you know, law, statutes, and commandments. What did we do? We didn't want to keep them, <laughs> you know? So the Lord placed a base nation over us to make us keep their laws. And we're still underneath that, that captivity to this very day, but we're in the last days where the Lord is coming back to get us out of this captivity and save us from our enemies, according to um on the um, you know Luke chapter one, right? Okay, it says, um, despite the dual similarities shared earlier, ancient Romans and American societies share many other traits. Romans and Americans have been the great influencers 
of their epochs, anything from military power to the soft power of language, culture, technology, and ideals. They establish significant geographic expansion and influence from every aspect, including political and economic, creating an open society and cultural reform of their particular era. As ancient civilization, civilizations, Roman culture shall not and will never be the perfect fit in our contemporary American mindset. However, as one of the most civil rights activists of the past century noted, we are made by history and the United States standing in, in this continuum of development from the ancient Roman epochs till, the, till today. So let our actions today serve as history for our children tomorrow. Yeah, right. That's some you know, bullshit with the Martin Luther King shit. I think it was. Okay, but anyway... What really caught my attention was the comments because these so-called white people in these comments, man, you could tell it's them too. these damn Edomites. They're not liking what's going on and they're not liking what's being said about them. Basically. You got this person, Uncle Draza, lack of borders, unmitigated immigration. See, they see this is how much they hate you so-called Negroes. I mean, Hispanics and Native Americans, they don't want no, um, no, they, they don't want you coming to what the place they stole from you. It says a lying and elitist government, which they're telling the truth about that. Unwarranted wars. Yep, that too. Controlled inflation, massive crime, willful unemployment and easily distracted population. Yeah, here comes the Visigoths. So they know what's up. This person says morally decadent. Militarily overstretched, apathetic population, horribly corrupt government, nothing to see here, move along. This person, Lake State, says the article forgot to mention the similarities of the U.S. and the fall of the Roman Empire that is currently happening. See, that's why we went into Psalm 68 and, um, and 64 and 8, that was. Let's go back and get that again. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. See? Anybody with some, some, some common sense history of America and Rome and things of that nature, these universities, they know that um, um, uh, America is modern day Rome all over again and that it's falling. This person says this country is 100% screwed unless we hold a con constitutional convention and drastically reduce the power of the federal government based on the national debt alone our currency will collapse someday and that will be the end look it's nothing you can do about it you know see these so-called white people they're gonna claw they're gonna fight they're gonna do everything that they can to keep this shit going and it's not gonna work man this person says oh now you see <laughs> let me see this person ken nabu says that's because like rome america was founded as a as republic not a democracy. Big surprise that we would share some traits with the Romans. By the way, the USA is still a constitutional republic and not a, a democracy. Okay, this person, Mike Kelleher, says, And a constitutional republic is a form of represent, representative democracy. True, we are not a direct democracy, but power does belong to the people. <laughs> no, it don't. <laughs> Which people... Which is the general definition of democracy. Republic is the, the specific form of our democracy. And I think the apostles um, always go into the word government. Um, I think it, it means, um, you know, like mind control, control the people. Roughly paraphrasing that. Um, Jeff Bennett says it's embraced de degenerate views and is on its way out. Every empire falls and this one is rotting from within. Hey, you're right about that. Vote constitutional conservative Republican in all elections, see? All the same person as Danny Clem. All going is planned to de all going is planned to destroy America. Hey, that's the Lord, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is the one that's gonna destroy this place. He's destroying this place. Andy Robertson says, first the Republic free elections crumble into the time of the emperors. The Roman Republic lasted 700 plus years before converting into dictatorships, then lasted for 300 more years in Rome and 1400 more years in Constantinople. America has a long way to go to compare itself with Rome. No, it don't. No, it don't. And, and, and one thing about this is, too, and we can end out there because that was pretty much all the, you know, there's only a few more. But one thing they're not mentioning is, is let's go into it. 
But this is something that I wanted to pull up as well. See? Now you have the architect, right? That look the shit that looks just like your your court your local court building in any state, city, borough that you go to in America. All these places look just like this. You go to Washington, DC, you go to Detroit, you go to Philadelphia, you can go to Boston, you can go to um yeah, like Philadelphia, the, the city of brotherly love. All these different places, man. They look just like these places that they built in Rome, right? Now let's 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 just put in Romans, right? See, let's put in Romans. Let's see if we can get some um, some of these old ass statues of what the Romans look like. And here you go, right here, right. You got stuff like this, right? Do these look like who who who, do, who does this look like? And then and then it's all freakism. Look at that. Why would you have statues of of, of so called white man butt ass naked with their penis is showing with a robe over their shoulder with their arm and the hair? You know, like they're just these warriors. Who, who, who does these people look like? This is Roman Empire history. These look no different than a a, a, a so called white boy on a hockey team, man. Or a so-called white boy, um, on, on you know, on, on a on a yachting team in in college or some shit, some tennis player or something, man. <laughs> You're not finna tip, see, but this is what they're not talking about. They're not talking about the Romans was the the, the actual same people that's running shit right now. And it's not just here in the Americas. They're all Edomites. They're 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 in the, the uh, your damn president Putin over in Russia. Your Italian president. Matter of fact, when you look at um that France French president, matter of fact, let me let me get this. Look at this picture right here. Check out this guy right here real quick, right? Let's get this guy, this um the French president. What's his name? Uh, uh he he reminds me of one of these people. Uh, let me see. Salakia. That was just here. He was just here. Talking um a bunch of Weird old white people shit to uh, see. Look, he looks just like one of those people. <laughs> you can't get around it, man. Look at this dude. He looks just like one of those pictures I just showed. Look at this guy, man. Let's let's go back. Let's see. Let's. He looks just like one of them, and that goes for all these um these leaders, man. Hell, you can even look at uh, uh you know like um. Let's get the president of Belarus. See? This guy right here, he, he you know, he, he can be no, no more than a modern Roman. Or Edomite. That's their biblical name because, see, you had um, um, the Romans running around at that time, but that, you know, that that's not a, 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 a nationality. That was something that they took on. But... You know, because names was being changed as time was going on. But these people are actually Esau, Edom, the Edomites. You see what I'm saying? So like I said, again, once we was off into these these comments, they're talking about like what it was like as far as a nation, so to speak. They're not talking about, well, who are those people? Because why they've been comfortably running the earth for that time period up to now. Now it's time for their rulership to be taken down. So, like I said again, we can lead back out with that same scripture again. Oh, no, I was into well, in that book of Acts, but Psalm 64 and 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. See that? <laughs> hey, they, hey, see, the, it's the Lord. Matter of fact, that's the Lord, man. It's the Lord that's revealing them. That's where you get this 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. I'm going to start at verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, of the, the son of perdition. So the man of sin, the son of perdition is being revealed. It's, it's the so-called white man. And then they went so far as to give you so-called, you know, white Jesus, man. And then they, they rape, robbed, and pillaged the earth. I was watching um, this movie. It's called Apoc Apocalypto. It was back in the days. Still a good movie. I caught the tail end um, the night before last. And it, at the end, it was a point where, you know, if you're if familiar with the movie, you know, 
it's an older movie. You can check it out, though. Great movie, though. Um, but, you know, those, you know, they, they appeared to be Northern Kingdomers, but they was in, like, that traditional garb of just, you know, their regular, you know, the little wear that they was wearing back then. But anyway, they was chasing him. These, these people was chasing him. He was trying to save his wife. His wife was pregnant. She had um, the baby in his pit. There was water. It was raining. The water was coming up on her and she was pregnant. She was trying to stand up on these rocks. She had her little son. I think he was about three or so years old, but she was pregnant. And, and they actually showed that, you know, she actually had her baby and you can see the baby come out underneath the water. So he's looking down in the pit and he's trying to figure out a way to save her. But these guys are still on his ass. So he's running through the woods and then they run and they get to the beach and he just all of a sudden stops. And the guys that's chasing them, they right behind him and they stop. They're not even trying to kill him no more. So they looking and then the camera pans and it goes towards the ocean and they see them fucking so-called white people in those ships, man. The invasion, basically. <laughs> and the, the people that was chasing them, they was like, they, they was so, you know, so mesmerized. And, you know, they just was just standing there and they was walking towards the, the, the edge of the, the ocean because it was just such a, that shit was like probably looking like damn aliens to them, man. To see ships pull up on the ocean like that. And the one guy, that was he had to run back and save his wife. And it was kind of crazy because the wife, she asked him, should we go out there? You know, that was once, you know, he had healed up a little bit. He had his baby in his arm and they, you know, walking and they look back out towards the ocean, you know. And the wife is like, you know, his woman is like, you know, um, should we go and meet them? Shit, homeboy was like, no, we're going further into the woods and 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 and, and restart <laughs> our civilization, so to speak, because he didn't trust them. And that's the way that the so-called Native Americans Indians should have been when they seen the damn ships pull up over here instead of welcoming these these bastards, man, because everywhere they've gone, they've sown nothing but destruction. And they really think that this shit is going to go on with them. It's not going to continue with you so-called white people, man. You're not going to be able to just run throughout the earth for another thousand years, man. And, and, and it wouldn't be nothing left. you too fucking destructive. You done already tore the damn place up, man. I can't even imagine another 20 years with you so-called white people running nothing, man. Let me get verse four. It says, who opposes it? and exalted himself all above all that is called God, because that's what this man does. He exalted and he, he, he sets himself above all that is called um, um, Yahweh, man, or that is worshipped. Because he wants you to work. He wants to be the top. He wants to be top in everything, man. He has that God complex where he wants you worshiping him. And that's where they're about to get down with this digital shit on y'all, man. So that he... As, as God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. This man, and like I said again, let's, let's matter of fact, let's go, let's put in God. It's going to look like one of these damn Romans too. Watch. Let's, let's put in, let's put in the word, let's put in the word God. It's like you. Let's put in the word God. And that same type of artwork pops up, right? See, here you go. See, look at this shit. See, this this is the type of shit that pops up. This is why that scripture reads the way that it reads, man. Look at this. This is supposedly be God with some butt naked ass baby on his back. And he's touching fingers with this butt naked little pee pee ass nigga, man. Come on, man. See? This is this is let's get some more images if you think I'm playing. Look, this is what, what you what you think of. This is the, the this is what they give you when you put in the word God. You see, and then they give you sweet white baby Jesus. They're going to give you Jesus, the, the so-called white man. Now, who, who done this? Who done this, man? You see, God's a war. When you put in shit like this, like, who do you think gave you photos like this? And why is it always some babies with him? This is the so-called white man's depiction of them being God. And they, 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 they illustrated it throughout the Catholic Church. That shit is everywhere, all throughout the entire planet. Now they're starting to be revealed as the man of sin, the son of perdition, man. You can't get around it. You can't tell. You see, these are the, the, them, them Roman, them Roman looking ass pictures, man. Look at this shit. This is all Renaissance, uh, Renaissance age type stuff, man. Where they whitewashed all the images. Look at this. 
You can't get around this, man. So when I, you know, when I seen this last night, it was a little bit later, so I didn't get into it. But these people know that this is modern day Rome and that the same people that was running Rome back then are the people that's running this place called America, Babylon the Great, right now to this very, very day. They know that. And, and a lot of these elite, they understand the demise of this place. They understand that this place is going down and it's going down quickly. And 2023 is about to show a lot of people a lot of stuff, man. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Hey, look into some of this stuff. I mean, it's real simple. Look into some of this stuff, man. And there's a lot more to it. This was just a short article. You see what I'm saying? With that, Kwame Inshallah.